It's time for a lesson in Facebook law. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Cyber Monday is over, and as you could expect, it broke last year's online shopping spending records. IBM tracks spending from hundreds of retailers, and there was a 30% jump in online shopping from last year. And the peak shopping time, if you're interested, was 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The biggest product was the Kindle Fire tablet. Amazon cut the price by 30 bucks, and Amazon says it was the most successful Cyber Monday deal ever. Aside from sales, there was quite a bit of hoopla on Facebook with people posting status messages full of legalese about how henceforth they hereby own the copyright to all the material they post on Facebook. Well, here's the truth. It's a hoax. It means nothing and posting legal statements on your page does not in any way change with rights you have when you use Facebook. What you agreed to in the terms of service when you signed up, yeah, that's what matters. Facebook does not own any of the content you post to your page, but if you use Facebook, they do have the rights to sell data about you to advertisers. For example, if you like a company page or a product, that info might be shared with others. If you use Facebook, be smart with what you share, go through your privacy settings, and go to the section on Facebook ads. You can decide if you want Facebook to use your name and your actions with ads that your friends can see. Apple's voice-controlled assistant Siri will work with cars next year, starting with the Chevy Spark and Sonic. Owners with an iPhone 4S or iPhone 5 could wirelessly connect to Chevy MyLink to give Siri commands while they're driving, like sending text messages, making calls, and accessing calendars. But drivers won't be able to ask Siri a complex question that requires displaying a web page, since that would just encourage drivers to take their eyes off the road. And the iPhone screens won't light up to distract the driver either. Apple set a sales date for its new 21.5-inch screen iMac, the all-in-one desktop, goes on sale this Friday, November 30th, at Apple stores and online. The larger 27-inch model will be available to order online and will ship in December. Apple first unveiled these new models last month, which have Intel's latest processors and the thinnest display you'll find in any all-in-one. The 21.5-inch model starts at $1,300. And a heads up for those of you with an Android device, if you want to post a review about a book, an app, or anything in the Google Play Store, you now have to use your real name with a Google Plus account. So if you have some terrible things to say, you better stand proudly behind them. On the good side, it could cut back on fake reviews. On the bad, it could just discourage people from writing any review. That's your tech news update. You can find links to all of these stories on the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.